Hello, good friends. It's Twy Keen, and thanks for joining me for my winter quarter 2013-14 update video. This is going to be just a, a preview of um, what's to come on my channel, as well as just discuss current things going on and everything. This is something I like to do on a seasonal basis, and other LPers like me do things like this as well. But, but this is just my version. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, let's get it started. I'm going to start by just recapping um, what has happened during the fall quarter, and <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've recognized <laughs> pretty much the greatness of um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Mario Party 8. I actually finished Mario Party 8 like a month late, because for the last um, set of videos, the extra zone and fun bizarre, there were a few points in there where my voice sounded pretty garbled and everything. I just like I probably got to do this all over again, <laughs> or something like that, or it just provide post commentary. But I decided, nah, let's just include the little garbled voice in it just to make it sound funny and everything. And, and it's not in there for the entire video. It's only for like about 20 to 30 seconds. I think it was some somewhere around there like that. But anyways. Those projects really um, were really fun to do on my channel, especially Zelda, since I really dedicated it to um, really close friends of mine, mainly from my school days and, and all that. You kind of get my drift right there. Anyways, now that those projects have been completed, I am going to point out um, what's going to be coming up on my channel over the course of the winter season. Starting with this upcoming week, I'm going to be doing what should be called a mini Christmas project. It's not necessarily going to have Christmas related to it. It's going to have more like just winter related to it. But I kind of wanted to throw it in kind of to um, spread the joy of Christmas with this kind of game. <laughs> it will be part of, and I'm going to say this for the record, the Let's Play 1980s Arcade series. So... That, that can give you a hint about what this game is. So if you have an idea of what this game is, you, you might already guess it by then. But I will have, um, this will take at least two or three videos. I'm not really sure, but just keep your eyes peeled out for that and everything. It's going to be fun. <laughs> um, after I'm done with that mini Christmas project, I will be taking a two-week break from Alpine, and I definitely need that, especially with... Um, all the stuff I did over the fall with um, Zelda and Mario Party 8. I mean, I just feel like doing all those projects, both I mean, both of those projects at the same time and pretty much the same day and hardly any rest in between them, I just feel like that put such a huge baron on myself and especially you, the fans. So, I just, you guys really deserve a break from my channel and everything so that you can at least catch up to what's going on and not have to really worry about what's going to what's going to be coming up like in the next day or two instead just just wait a couple weeks or so i'm hoping i hope you guys don't mind that but i i, I really do need a break from my channel a little bit that's all i'm going to say right there the weeks of christmas and new year's is is when i'm going to have that break if you if you're not really sure what i mean <laughs> Although I will not necessarily take a break the week from the week of New Year's because I will have a, a special montage video. I'm not going to say what kind it is, but that is something that I will um, have right around New Year's Eve. I'm not going to say what the montage is about right now because I want to keep it a surprise. But it's something I think you all will enjoy. <laughs> just just believe me on that. <laughs> I do plan on coming back right around the first full week of January after that two-week break with the start of a new LP. It's going to be um, something, a relatively short game. It might take about like seven or eight videos. I don't, I don't really know yet. We're just going to have to wait and see. And I'm also going to work on trying to make um, scheduling for all my projects on a much lighter scale. That's something I just... Um, haven't really done much on my channel this entire year. I mean, it's like I just put so many videos per on per week. 
of course, I try to limit to one per day, and, and that's what I really do. Except for Mario Party videos in which you upload it in parts, like three to four parts for every board you do in one day. <laughs> and and, and it's pretty, that's pretty much a norm anyway. Um, I believe that's all I'm going to say right there. And then 2014 is going to be pretty exciting because I am going to be holding a, a very special project that's going to be held every Friday. Now, I'm hoping I can do it every Friday, but I'm not going to guarantee that it will happen. But I am going to be trying something called Fortune Street Friday. In other, what this means is I am going to be showcasing a Fortune Street board every Friday throughout 2014. Um, it won't be every single Friday for 2014, that's for sure, but, but at least a good majority of Fridays this year. Um, as far as um, when they will go, as far as how long it will go, I've analyzed how it will go and everything. It, it may last at the latest till around the end of November or December. Because um, I'm going to be doing a uh, a few special things on other Fridays, especially during the summer, because I actually intend on doing more exhibition games for Mario Super Suckers, especially since that project has grown so popular on my channel. It's like people just really like watching my exhibition games on there, and I want to do more for you guys. I'm going to save that for summer, though. Because <laughs> I just... <laughs> Not quite ready to do it yet, but I do plan on doing it during the summer. So yeah, that that's one time of the year that I am not going to do Fortune Street Fridays when I do Mario Super Sluggers exhibition games again. And I also noticed when I did when I did my analyzing for every single Friday for the month for the year of 2014, the Fourth of July as well as Halloween, are on a Friday as well, so I will not be doing Fortune Street boards on those days. Especially since I want to dedicate those days to something more related to those holidays. Just kind of giving you a heads up on how Fortune Street Friday may go and everything. But, anyways, I hope you all look forward to that. And I'm also, also I, I should also point out that I am going to try incorporating picture in picture with Fortune Street where I have footage of the gameplay as well as footage of live action footage of myself playing that game just to show off my reactions and everything to everything that goes on the board I I've done a few tests with it so far and so far everything the live action footage of me kinda looks a little more pixelated but um I feel like it has improved a little bit ever since I've tried doing these tests every now and then. I I, I can't say for sure if I will do picture in picture for Fortune Street. I want to do it, but I I'm just gonna have to keep doing some more tests and everything. And I will come to an ultimate decision by the time the project rolls around. Um I am going to conclude this special by giving out some very nice shout outs to a lot of um really good youtubers that I watch who are who are obviously gamers but also just um really good really good people to watch I'm gonna start with Faya Kitty who has been an absolute thrill or maybe not thrill but more like just an absolute pleasure. Her videos have been pretty good um I will admit, though, to her that I haven't really watched a lot of her LPs because they're games I don't really have a particular interest in, but I really like all these um, update and tutorial videos she makes, especially um, since she's been posting videos regarding um, the copyright, co copyright and content ID claims thing going on with YouTube right now. I really appreciate all the uh, support she's given us for everything regarding that and just telling us not to really um, make a, such a big deal about it. And, and she is right. 
Hmm. We really shouldn't make such a big deal about um, videos being content ID'd or anything like that. Just have some fun. Um, I'd also like to give a shout out to Fire Kitty's boyfriend, Slim Kirby, who I'm pretty sure a lot of you know who he is and everything, but um, I just enjoy his work all the time. Hmm. His Paper Mario LP that he's doing right now, it has been really fun to watch, and I really like him showing an extensive amount of content that I never really did when I actually first started playing the game this year. And the voices he does for the characters are ac actually really worth listening to. So check out his channel and, and his LP of Paper Mario. I swear, you're, you're going to have a lot of fun listening to him talk about all these and everything. And I'd also like to give a shout out to Madame Morio, who is doing currently an LP of an Animal Crossing Christmas. But she calls it um, Christmas and Pimpmas. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of awkward, but <laughs> if if you if you don't know Madame Morio, she uses the term pimp a lot. It, not in the uh, term that is um, offensive to many, but in a in a way that's in, that's described as more like laid back and being cool. And that's how I first um, thought of the word pimp when I was in high school and everything. People called me that, and I just felt like it was just um, a really cool term, just being laid back and having a good time. And, and to me, that's what that word should really mean, believe me. Um, as far as other things Manamorio has done, she's just, um, she's just been an absolute pleasure to watch, as well as... Um, making all these arts and crafts, especially for her Animal Crossing series and her diaries for New Leaf, a game that I'm also playing as well, and you may see some pictures of mine on Twitter. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, you should, because I do post some Animal Crossing New Leaf pictures on there. Really, you should check those out. <laughs> um, I'd also like to give a shout-out to Toad in Wonderland, who hasn't really been on active on his channel very much, over the past month and a half because he's been with college and sometimes he's been sick and everything but um he has been doing a great job with his LP of Zelda the Wind Waker HD I just really like how he's striking up a really good conversation with that game I just really can't wait till he comes back <laughs> and returns to playing that <laughs> But of course, he still has to get the matters of college done and everything. <laughs> and he's about done with it anyway, which I'm really happy about. <laughs> so, props to him. He's definitely going to have a bright future, believe me. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to give a shout out to this one group that started on YouTube just about a month ago. <laughs> it's these um, group of ladies called Critical Chicks. I have been watching their videos ever since they started, and... They have been really fun to watch. They're simply um, a group of these gals that consist of, and I may not list every one, Madame Oreo, Madame Toadstool, um, Little Foo 68, um, who else? Zenonia 91. Or, wait a second, Zenonia 11. Uh, Chelsea is the other one I, I was thinking about. And um, who else? Gaia Crusher 9, and then there's Ilu Weaver. Those those ladies are absolutely fun to watch. I don't really watch their podcast live because I'm usually in bed because I have to go to work in the morning <laughs> since they do their broadcasts like late Sunday night. <laughs> I'm already in bed by then, so I just watch them the next night <laughs> kind of as, as it's archived and everything, and I just comment on there then. <laughs> I'll try sometime to watch them on a Sunday night, but I am just... I'm just already in bed by then because I have work to do. <laughs> Anyways, check check Critical Chicks out if you haven't already. They are just fun to watch. At least they only do their videos once a week, so <laughs> that gives you plenty of time to really check them out and everything. Anyways, thank you all for your support of my channel throughout the past um, few months. It has been an absolute blast. Um, socializing with you all, your comments, your feedback, everything you have um, done to support me and everything. I just can't thank you all enough for it. 
Anyway, that, I think that should about do it for this update video, and I know I've rambled on for like 15 minutes. <laughs> that, that's probably just a long time for you all, but I guess that's all I can say. Again, thanks for watching. This has been the Twiking, and this has been my winter 2013-14 update video. And I will see you all this week for my mini Christmas project. Have a great day. So long.